Uh, one of the main reasons I ran for uh, District 2 City Council is my family was uh, affected by the near uh, cuts of District 2 assets. Uh, my daughter and I enjoy taking walks down to the Mount, Mount Royal Library for uh, open read time. Uh, it was almost shut down entirely. Uh, it's open now 12 hours with the hope of uh, increasing those hours in the future. Uh, Chester Bowl is another uh, asset in our community that was uh, nearly shut down. Uh, the Lake Walk extension between 20 and 25th, uh, and you saw how much uh, that was meant by Duluthians by the outpour of 400 people this spring uh, to put a, pave or put a walkway down in front of it. Uh, so th those are big issues on why I'm running. I understand we're under tough economic times right now, but I'm more about the bend but not break philosophy uh, where we can reinvest back into this community. Uh, you know, I think this power comes home to this is on that same poll that was done today in the paper, the Zoxby poll, that showed that uh, so many people are in our community uh, really uh, feel strong about our city versus other cities across Minnesota. And I think that hits, hits the nail on the head right there, is that we live up here because uh, we enjoy the Great Lake, we enjoy the trails, we enjoy the infrastructure, and we got to improve on that. Uh, last but not least is, uh, you know, there's been a couple things that have been brought up. Uh, one's the lateral line. Uh, number two is the health care, uh, retiree health care uh, benefits. And this has been things, uh, these have been going on for the last 20 years. And, uh, you know, we didn't go on that. We are very reactive as a council. And I think we've got to be more proactive, be the leaders, be what we want to be in the next 10 years and go with it. So that's what I'd like to offer for you guys in the council. Well, once again, thanks to the League of Women Voters for having us out here. Um, I'm Robert Wagner. I'm running for City Council of District 2, which, if you don't know where that is, it's uh, from 15th Avenue East over to 40th Avenue East in UMD Saints Classic areas. Um, there's a lot of issues um, that we as Duluthians face. Um, there's, I mean, I can't keep track of them all or even know, to begin to know what all the issues are, but... Um, the most important issues, I believe, as a city councilor is, number one, the budget um, and city spending. Uh, we need a, a council who's going to be responsible with, with your money, um, as well as uh, what other issues, the infra infrastructure and uh, sewage overflows, um, you know, retiree health care debt, all this stuff is going to be coming up. And, you know, there's not many people who are willing to, um, you know, uh, run for the seat. I mean, out of what 30,000 people in District 2, it's just me and Patrick Boyle who are running. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a, a counselor who is willing to do the job. I'm going to dig deep into the issues that are presented to me. And um, I appreciate you, everyone coming out. Thank you. Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity tonight to speak with you, and, and I hope that on November 3rd you will vote for Becky Hall because, you know, I'm running for city council because I want the same things you do. I want a city that does its best to help all of its citizens prosper, and I believe one way we can do this is to make job growth um, a priority again, and we can do that by streamlining our, our services so that businesses can um, easily expand here or even locate here um, to this beautiful community. Community, I know there are many out there that would love, love to make this their home. We sure did, my family and I. I also believe that we can do a better job, too, of working together as community leaders, business leaders, the unions, come together and show uh, Minnesota, show the world that we are open for business and we, we welcome you here because at the end of the, end of the day, they are the ones who are creating the jobs for our families. And, you know, my family was able to move here because of a job. And as a mom of five raising my kids in this community, I would like nothing more than for them to have that same opportunity someday, and your kids too, to have jobs here. So I really think we need to make that a priority again somewhere in our city government. And um, I believe by growing our job space, we're growing our tax base as well. So we'll be able to provide more revenue for all the services we value so much, our libraries, our parks. Um, it, it's really up to having a good, strong economy, and it starts with supporting our businesses. Um, what else? I have a little bit of, a little bit of time, don't I? Um, my, my experience in economic development, I've worked in other communities. I know we can do it here in Duluth. 
And whereas we all talk about economic development up here, I've actually done it. And I have to say that I also am um, rather supportive of what Councilor Stauber says about holding the line on taxes. While we are all tightening our belts at home, I expect government to do the same. Thank you. First off, I just want to thank you guys. You guys are still awake at this point in the night, so thank you. <laughs> Um, my name is Dan Hartman and I'm running for Duluth City Council because I think it's time we stop talking about why we can't do things in the city and it's time we begin to talk about how we actually will build a better Duluth. Uh, well, what does that mean? That means working together as a team. You know, a lot of times people talk about councilors, you know, as, as one champion for the world, but really we're only going to get things done when we work together as a council, as a group. And that actual, that means actually working with the mayor as well. And I'm excited to kind of be part of that team so we can start to work on these things, like to continue to do the work that's needed on our streets. That means to do the work to make it easier for businesses to come to the city of Duluth. But one of the things that I'm also hearing as I've gone through all the city is that we need to do a better job of actually communicating the positive things that are going on in the community. There are a lot of great things happening, like out here in Lester Park Lakeside. There's great things happening out in the West End. There's things, great things happening in Morgan Park. But people never hear these things. And I think we as a city need to do a better job of promoting the positive things that are going on. Because if you don't hear the positive things, of course, you're going to have a very negative outlook. <laughs> and I think it's time we, as a city and as a community, just try to focus on some of the good things that are happening, too. But otherwise, thank you guys for staying up so late again tonight. And if you have any questions, please come talk to me later.